Okay, so that is it for my Sarah Jessica Parker collection. So now we're going to move on to the next um, cubicle here. And in this one, I actually have two different celebrities. And they are Avril Lavigne and Hilary Duff. I originally had them in their own separate um, shelves, but I don't really have a lot of space left because I have so many that I said I had to combine certain people. And so Hillary and Avril both have two, so I figured, well, they can like share a cubicle. Ironically, in real life, Avril and Hillary would probably never be able to share a cubicle because I'm pretty sure they hate each other, but this is fantasy and not reality. So first we'll start with Hillary. So this is the With Love advertisement that I got from a magazine. I've had that for quite a while as well. Um, so as I said, Hillary has two fragrances. The first one here is called With Love. And it was actually quite surprising because it wasn't like, you know, a typical fruity celebrity kind of scent. It was very exotic smelling. And um, I've got the lotion. I've got two lotions actually. I've got the big one and then the small one um, for like traveling. And then here is a rather fancy looking roll-on of With Love. It comes in its own like velvet case and then you like pull it out and it's got like a cap and everything. It's actually pretty good for a roll-on. Um, I used to have a shower gel but I used that up. And then beside that I have our second one which is a little bit less common. Um, it's called Wrapped With Love, and this is the fruity one. And I've got the um, Impossible To Find Wrapped With Love body lotion. Okay, and then next to that I've got Avril Lavigne. This is not a fragrance ad, it's just um, a cardboard cutout that I have of her. But she as well has two, so um, this one here and the pink is her first one, and it's called Black Star. Comes with a little ring. And then next to that is her second scent, known as Forbidden Rose. And it's in the tall purple bottle. It's got a ring as well. And I have the Forbidden Rose body lotion to go with that. A really big one. So I really hope Avril and Hilary make some more scents because they haven't really... Well, Hilary hasn't made one in years. I guess Avril just released Forbidden Rose not too long ago, but... Okay, so we're going to move on now. So in the next cubicle, I've got another sort of joint collection. This time, the two ladies are Christina Aguilera and Victoria Beckham. I am beautiful, no matter what they say. Now for this section, I actually don't have any advertisements. I can't find any Christina ads or Victoria Beckham ads. Um, with Christina, most of her scents are only available overseas, like in the UK and stuff. So I don't really, like it's really hard for me to get hers. Um, so I guess that's why there's, there, it never appears in like advertisements. But I'll show you what I've got. So this here is Christina Aguilera's first perfume, which was just called Christina Aguilera. I had this one imported, um, and I absolutely adore it. It's one of my favorites. So I really want to sort of conserve that bottle, because I may never get another one. And then next to it is her one North American perfume, which is called Inspire. So I've got a little bottle of that. And as for Christina's other two fragrances, I don't own the bottles yet, but I've ordered a few samples online to sort of like have a chance to smell them. So I've got some here. This is her Christina Aguilera by Night perfume. I've got that one as well as like these samples here. So I, heard, I ordered a whole bunch of them and I'm hoping to get that one soon. Um, and then this is the first, her like, Christina Aguilera sample, that's the one that I got before I got that bottle that I sort of fell in love with. And then behind here, um, let's move that for a second. This is her new one, it's called Royal Desire. Um, again, I don't have the bottle, but I got this sample. So hopefully I'll be getting, I'll be able to find those two fragrances soon. So that's my Christina section. 
And then we have Victoria Beckham. She's got a whole bunch as well. Her and David Beckham make like fragrances together. So I only got I only have two of hers. Um Oh yeah, so the backing is like the gift set that the first fragrance came in. So this is called Beckham Signature for her. I've had this one for quite a while and it's one of my favorites. I really like this one. So it came in the set and I got a lotion and a shower gel. But the shower gel is in the shower. And then the one next to it is called um, Intimately Beckham Night. So this is her night version. There's a day version of this and a new version called um, Intimately Yours, I believe. I don't have those two, but I've got the night version and it's very lovely. Okay, so that is my Victoria Beckham and Christina Aguilar section. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the next section. So over here, um, it's sort of like three different parts. I have my Harajuku Lovers, my Queen Latifah, and some DKNY fragrances. So first I'll show you the Harajuku Lovers. Okay, so when these first came out, there was only five of them. Uh, and then they were like re-released as like Sunshine Cuties, and then Winter Bunnies, and then like something else, and that was like a hundred. So this is just like the original set, not like any of the newer ones. Um, this is a sample card with all five of them on it. So we've got Love, Little Angel, G, Music, and Baby. So that's that's really handy to get because it lets you sort of have all of them without, you know, spending too much. And out of the five, I picked my favorite one, and that is this one, which is G. So she's like the tropical one, so that's the one that I got. And then um, that's just like a little sample card where it has like the five pictures on there. And then next to that, I have some DKNY fragrances. Um, the green one here is called Be Delicious. These are just minis, so they're not like the big ones. So I've got Be Delicious, and then... Um, this one was a limited edition, it's called B, it's called Delicious Kisses, I believe. I at first thought it was Red Delicious, and then I thought it was Fresh Blossom, but it's actually not, it's called Kisses. Alright, and then over here is my one Queen Latifah perfume. This is her first one that's called Queen. She has a second one, um, but I haven't been able to smell it because it hasn't, like, come to Canada. I don't think it ever will, but, um... We got this one, and I've got that one there. Oh, and then in the back, it's like completely random. It's a Sarah Jessica Parker um, Covet box, where it's just sort of like this collage of the Eiffel Tower, and SJP, and Covet, and a whole bunch of randomness. So yeah, that's my random shelf. Okay, so that is it for that shelving unit. So now I'm going to move on to my dresser over here where I have three more final collections. Okay, so I'll show you this section first. So this is my Vera Wang section. So here I've got her original um, Princess perfume. I re recently did a review on this one. So that's Princess. And then I also have the uh, Princess Shimmer Powder Stick as well as the body butter right there. And it's all in like the little gift box here. And then I have two samples of um, Glam Princess, which is her other... She has like four princesses, and this is the other permanent one. So, two samples of Glam Princess. Okay, so now we're going to move on to my most hilarious collection. And that's Paris Hilton. <laughs> So when I made my first collection video over a year ago, I didn't have any Paris Hilton fragrances and everyone was asking me, you know, I can't believe you don't have any Paris Hilton, you would, you would love them. And so I finally got one and then over the past year I've been like slowly but surely collecting them and now I have all of them. So here's my little tray here. So I got the Paris Hilton ad that's like from her first perfume. Um, okay, so they're all in, like my little tray here. So we'll start by the left here. I've got her first perfume, Paris Hilton. Behind that is the discontinued Just Me. And then I have Eris. This is Can Can. It's the first one that I got from her. 
This one is Fairy Dust. That's the ad for it there in the back. And then this one is called Siren. Um, I also have, I got gift sets for like a few of them because they're so cheap. Like they're the most affordable scents I could find. And like this is the Siren Lotion and the Siren Shower Gel. And then I also have Can Can Lotion and Shower Gel as well as Eris lotion and shower gel and then um her newest one is called tease i don't have it yet i just got like a sample of it uh, and i used that up and it was pretty good so i think i'll get that one as well to sort of complete the collection so i don't have it now um so until i get it i just sort of have this like little sample there so it's sort of like tease coming soon oh and then in here i've got um a whole bunch of pair of samples this is what sort of got me hooked on them so i got like her original one um, Siren, it's like a little filing cabinet, Can Can, Fairy Dust, Eris, and then another Tease. So that's my Paris Hilton collection. And now we're going to go on to the final collection, last but not least, and that is my Jessica Simpson. <laughs> So Jessica Simpson makes very good fragrances. She has three of them and I love all of them. So I've got them all on my like fancy love box here. So this is her first one, it's called Fancy. So I got the big bottle of that one. And then I also have her second one, my beloved Fancy Love, which I adore. This is my favorite for my collection. I like can't live without it. And I even have her new one, which I waited forever for it to come here, and it finally came, and it's called Fancy Nights. And in terms of fancy products, I have um, Fancy Lotion, Fancy Shower Gel, Fancy Love Lotion, and a Fancy Love Roll-On, because I got the, the Fancy Love set. And then this little guy is... Um, it's bath and shower gel again. I'm so stupid. I didn't, like, I was at the store the other day and they were selling, like, some fancy products, like, on their own for, like, discounts. And I saw this and it was bath and shower gel and I thought, I don't have this. I don't have fancy shower gel. So I bought it because it came in a different bottle and then I came home and I realized, oh, wait a second, I do have fancy shower gel. <laughs> so now I have two, but, like... I love it because it comes in like a fancy bottle, like it sort of pretends it's one of the fancies, but it's not. So whatever, you can never have too much fancy, so. Oh, and then in, this is the fancy box, and inside is a one ounce of fancy. Um, like the original, as just sort of like, I got that one first, and then I got that, and yeah, so now I have two. Oh, and then I have, like my Paris one, I have like a little Jessica filing cabinet, so I've got a sample of fancy. Two samples of Fancy Love, and then three or four samples of Fancy Nights. Alright guys, so that was my collection video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I definitely had a good time making it. So if you saw anything in the video that I have not reviewed yet, and you're interested in hearing about, just let me know, and I will try and get that review out for you as soon as I can. Oh, and also, um, I, really, I would really like to see your collection videos. So if you have a collection, even if it's a small one, like, you know, just four or five, I'd really like to see them. So anyone, um, if you're interested or if you can, post a video of your collection video because I would really love to see what everyone else has. I'll see you guys next time for some more fragrance videos. Yeah.